got some breaking news here. Um, yeah. This isn't Harry Kane related, by the way. Tom Pelissero, NFL Network, says the Texans are now willing to listen and have been for some time to trade offers for Deshaun Watson. Multiple sources tell me and Ian Rappaport. The price is high for a player of his caliber and should be. It'll likely uh, take at least three first-round picks and more. He also says that uh, Deshaun Watson reported to camp yesterday and was respectful, but his demeanor reiterated he doesn't want to be in Houston. The question is, will a team step up with the type of massive offer that could compel the Texans to move him now? Watson also would have to waive his no trade. There's a couple of teams who are monitoring this situation, from what I'm told. Denver, Miami, Philadelphia, Carolina. Yes, Paulie. It does feel like the Deshaun Watson situation has not uh, deteriorated off the field. There's been no smoking gun in the past four months. But how could a team, let's say it was Denver, was interested in trading for him, how can they trade for him without knowing yeah. the details behind the accusations? And I don't know if he's going on the commissioner's exempt list. Usually that would happen as we get closer to the season, I believe. But there is no real smoking gun here. With Adrian Peterson, there were pictures. With Ray Rice, there was a video. There's really no smoking gun. We know that there's accusations, but he has not been formally charged here. Can he make this go away? And if he makes this go away, does the NFL punish him? And from what I'm told, the NFL doesn't seem like it's leaning towards punishing him right now. Can you put him on the commissioner's exempt list? And can you get him at a, a lesser rate than you would have a few months back? I don't know other than, hey, uh, he, he's, uh, he's settled all of these cases. Does the NFL punish him? And if so, for how long? Or if they don't, then the Texans would be open for business. But I think that they had been holding out because what is the value of Deshaun Watson? Deshaun Watson led the NFL in passing yards last year. He completed 70% of his passes. He played for a horrible team and did all of that. He's young, under contract, and obviously there's some baggage that's going to go along with him. That's why you have these teams that are monitoring the situation. And if you're Denver and you could get Aaron Rodgers or you could get Deshaun Watson, I would say Watson, but then what am I giving up? What's, what's the baggage I'm getting? And Aaron Rodgers, what do I have to give up? Plus, he's 12 years older than Deshaun Watson. And we don't know what's happening with the Packers. We're probably going to find out a little bit more later today or tomorrow if Rodgers is going to show up. Is he going to show up and play one more year? Is he going to show up and say, hey, you don't want me to be a distraction. Trade me. And now you got the Devontae Adams situation as well. And we'll talk to Peter King about this. But... Make no mistake about it. Uh, somebody who is, I don't want to say a friend of Aaron Rodgers. I don't want to overcharacterize this, but said to me yesterday, Aaron doesn't do anything by accident. It's all by design. He's got a game plan. There's, there's no way that he's sort of going in there just kind of, hey, whatever happens, happens. He knows exactly what he wants to do, how he wants to do it, what his end game is. Whether he gets that or not, that's a you know, completely different story. But what his game plan is, I was told that he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, Paul. Do you think another team could lowball Deshaun Watson? Because it, it, go back to, I think it was February, people were talking four first-round picks for him. That's back when there was no accusations. Now he's got baggage, and also I would think that the Texans don't want him on the team at all because they're going for the first-round pick next year. Here's what was told to me over the weekend. You know, as much as you look at the Texans and they can tank, there is no great quarterback. This is what I was told. There's no great quarterback. NFL scout, who's been a great source for this show, there is no Trevor Lawrence. That you have quality quarterback. Spencer Rattler has played one quality season. And this is where if you're the Texans and you go, we want that number one pick, okay, you're not, you might not replace Deshaun Watson with, hey, we got... Justin Fields, or we got Trevor Lawrence here. You know, it, 
it's not that that player is not there right now. Now quarterbacks always emerge, but I was told yesterday, uh, Saturday, that there is no hey that's a, that's a franchise making quarterback. There's nobody like that right now, and that's another thing to factor in. Yes, McLovin. Right, like you said, there's always a Trubisky, or even Mahomes wasn't. Or Baker Mayfield, remember? He was yeah. a second rounder up until a month. So. Yeah, and Zach Wilson. Yeah, I mean, there's always quarterbacks that jump up, and there are a couple of quarterbacks that are out there, but I was told that there's no, boy, that guy can turn your franchise around. 